The following segment is paid for by CenterWell Senior Primary Care. Well, everyone can expect some brain changes as they get older, and you may start to process things a little more slowly, forget recent events every now and then, and it may not be as easy to multitask. That is right, and that is okay. And Dr. Tracy Wakefield from Centerwell Senior Primary Care is here to talk about what you seniors can do to reduce the chances of this happening. Dr. Wakefield, welcome back to the show. Nice to be here. What, what happens to the brain as we age? Well, there definitely, you can expect some brain changes as we all get older. Um, you know, you may, like you just mentioned, have, you know, slower response time. You may have trouble multitasking. You may forget things every once in a while. But the important th thing to know for seniors is that there are things that they can do to help reduce the risk of, you know, cognitive decline as we age. Fantastic. So what are some of those things? I think people as they age are always a little worried about their brain health. So what can they start doing to help with that? So first of all, you want to eat a good balanced diet, right? And that's mm -hmm. one rich in lean protein as well as, you know, nuts, fruits and vegetables and seeds and those kind of things that really help the brain function. The other thing is you want to stay not only physically active, but mentally active. You want to yes. exercise regularly, stay at a good body weight. You want to, you know, maybe do puzzles and things that keep the the mind active. Also, it's so important to to do these things not only for cognitive decline, but they also reduce your risk of anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. which we know has been particularly problematic after after the pandemic. Um, but these are all things that we can do to help reduce our risk of, of brain, you know, functioning decline as we age. I almost said brain fog. Right? <laughs> brain fog. It's yeah. fair to say. Well, I, it's just amazing because the two things that you just mentioned. Uh, during the pandemic, so many people um, didn't eat as well, and so many people became disconnected um, from all those um, people and, and places and activities that they usually did. So it, it's a tough time, but there, there's a chance to kind of revive yourself, isn't there, if you change your habits? Absolutely. And you mentioned if, you know, something else that's really important as we age, and that's really to maintain those social connections, right? Mm -hmm. Conversations and activities also help stimulate our brain health. I know at Centerwell, we work hard because we understand the, how interdependent the physical, emotional, social, and financial health of our patients is. So if you don't address all those aspects, you're, you know, you're not, you know, you're not doing the best for the patient improving their brain health and, you know, how they're going to function as they age. Mm. Fantastic. Well, speaking of things that they should be doing, what shouldn't they be doing, especially mm. as they get older? So I would definitely recommend seniors who are still smoking need to quit, mm -hmm, right? Definitely. We know that this not only impacts brain health, but also increases the risk of certain diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and lung disease. So I would really encourage you, if you have not quit smoking at this point, to quit smoking. I mean, Good. if you can kick the habit later on in life, mm -hmm. that is a huge, huge accomplishment. And I think <clears throat> Uh, studies show uh, uh, clearly, and I think the med medical community always reinforces the idea that y you're never too old to quit. You can always, uh, you know, help reverse a little bit of that damage you've done. From, Absolutely. From decades There's of smoking, no reason right? that you can't gain some benefit yes. regardless of when you quit smoking. I know we yep. have, you know, at Centerwell, we take that time really to sit with patients because we know how important these issues are mm -hmm. um, and, and address those specific needs with our patient because we understand we want to, they, they want to get the most health out of the, out, out of the later years of their life and yeah. so important to have that approach. Sure. Definitely. And how about mm -hmm. dietary recommendations for people who are trying to keep their brains active? So as we mentioned, you know, it's, it's, it's like I said, lean proteins, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. You know, you also may consider, um, you know, meeting with your physician specifically to address your particular nutritional needs. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, for us, we have an entire care team that's meant to address a lot of those needs with our patients, uh, get to know them, develop that trust so that they can develop a nutritional plan that's just right for their brain health, right? So in addition to nutrition too, I know there's there's a couple of ads on TV I see constantly uh, for supplements that can enhance brain health or, or memory. How do you feel about those? So I would definitely recommend that seniors could start a vitamin B12 supplement. This mm -hmm. is great. We know that this may enhance brain health. Um, with regards to other specific recommendations, I would I would emphasize how it, important it is to meet with their 
you know, private physician so that they can address their specific needs because based mm -hmm. on their chronic conditions or, you know, things that they have going on, there may be specific supplements for them. You know, I, I know at Centerwell, that's important to yeah. us. We meet with our patients to address specifically their individual nutrition, you know, n nutritional needs to meet their brain health. You keep using that word, and so what I keep hearing from you is it's very personalized care. Yes. Absolutely. At well, and that's amazing. How old uh, does someone have to be to qualify to see you? So generally we take mm -hmm. Medicare eligible patients. So those okay. are patients generally over the age of 65 or those mm -hmm. who qualify for Medicare due to some type of disability. Mm -hmm. And it's important to remember, not only are we experts in senior care, but our facilities are really meant to and designed to meet the specific needs of seniors. We have non-skid floors, we have wide hallways, easy to use doors, um, things that really address the needs of the seniors. But, you know, and all of this is centered around a physician-led care team, which includes a large team of multidisciplinary team members so that we can do, you know, we, you know, everything we, that we can do within one center uh, awesome. for our patients. Yeah, you don't have to travel. Well, thank you so much, doctor. That's great. You're the best. Uh, Center Well, guys, multiple locations across the valley. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit their website, centerwelllasvegas.com.